Hey everybody, Vine's back with the next part to Final Fantasy IX, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Uh, in this part, we're going to take on more of the Desert Palace, and hopefully we make some more progress, because progress is always a good thing. And this Let's Play is also brought to you by MuchGames.ca. And also brought to you by the, I guess I'll say, the Foreign Exchange's YouTube channel. And I'm going to drink a Pepsi. Won't you viewers have a Pepsi? I'm not supplying them, by the way. Just won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? And this should be in HD widescreen, black bars on the top and black bars on the bottom, obviously. Because that's the way I roll with this. And now we get a battle. Stupid battles. I hate them. Um, uh, not really. I don't really hate them. But, uh, let's just say... I have to adjust my headset there. Let's see. Hmm... Bazawa is probably... Bazawa's sword. Let's see how much damage this takes off. Of course, fire up. And... So, not bad, not bad. And then we'll... Uh, no, I think it's better with the cure. Although, I think the only person who's really damaged is Colette. Yeah, I'm actually sitting on my couch recording this off my coffee table on my laptop because I now have... Ooh, 420. Uh, my new computer, well, semi-new, the computer that Wolf gave me, because I'll be working at home starting tomorrow. Uh, today is the 12th of March, and this video will probably be up on the 13th. Uh, usually, uh, which means I will have a video for today, for Wednesday. Uh, that's why you didn't even see Sonic on the Foreign Exchange's YouTube channel, because I didn't have any videos for it. I have videos ready, I just haven't had time to edit them, because I've been getting ready to start uh, working at home and getting everything set up. So, I didn't have a lot of time to get everything going. So, that's why. If you're wondering. Man, he dead. I tell you, he's dead, man. What the? Oh, jeez, so this is really low on MP. I was gonna say, what the hell? Got it. So that's gonna do nothing. Oh, crap, she can't concentrate. Well, in that case, uh, Colette, I guess, is gonna help out. And... Fire a sword? Yeah, what the hell. Maybe I should edit out a lot of the battles. Especially with enemies that, you know, we have seen before. Which is not too bad. That was, oh, I think, is it Grotus or Cole? One of them is low on MP. I think it's Cole, to be honest. That guy, he's always causing problems. That's stupid cold. Yeah, my couch is kind of creaking. I'm kind of moving. I have to get comfortable on the couch here. In sitting, and you might hear the couch creak. It is an old couch, after all. And I'm going to put my iPad on silent mode, so if anyone message, fine. The iPhone's already doing that. And couch, will you stop creaking? So let's see what we can do equipment-wise. Well, I drink more Pepsi. By the way, I also got these cool chips next to me. Uh, no, they're not cool venture Doritos, either. They're, um, Miss Vicky's. I'm not sure if you can get them outside of Canada. You probably can. I'm sure you can. And they're, like, uh, a kettle chip, which is they're pretty good. And this one is sea salt and malt vinegar. Uh, I really like those type of chips, kettle chips. They're really good. Not really, they might not be the healthiest thing to eat, but I'm just saying, when I say really good, I just mean, like, they taste good. But the good thing about me working at home now, once it gets really warm and the snow starts to melt and it gets spring and summer, I'll be able to get out of the house more often on days that I'm working, even, like, the lunch hour. I can go outside and eat on the deck for lunch, out in the sun, go out for walks after, uh, join lunch if I want to. Or I can, when I get off work, I'm already home, I can just leave the house and... You know, 
Of course, on my days off, I'm gonna want to get out of the house, like home base. So I'm gonna be working from home, like I said, starting on the 13th of this month, which is probably t tomorrow. By the time you, well, by the time you see this video, it's probably gonna be the same day. But I'm recording this the day before. And then Friday the 14th, I'm off that day, so I probably will leave my house because then the whole weekend I'm working. You know, sad. It's on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm working, so it's gonna be like five straight days of not leaving the house because I'm working. <laughs> so unless you know, I leave the house after I get off work, which is probably gonna happen. So with these bloodstones, I think I mentioned in the last video. I'm pretty certain that I mentioned that if you collect all the bloodstones and get all the items from the bloodstones. It's going to make the boss fight, which is probably going to happen in the next video, or the video after that, fairly easy. Comment. Not to be confused with the dog from Full House. It lets you cute. What does that do? I guess he just makes it more vulnerable to electricity. Then we'll... Is he dead? Yes. He dead. I tell you he did, man. So, let's see. I would say most likely we are going to be... And that's why I haven't seen Metal Gear in a few days and why Metal Gear has been delayed because I haven't had time to record it. I find lately in the evenings I mass recorded a lot of stuff and then I kind of got lazy after a bit. Well, not really lazy. Real life came up. The only thing I have mass recorded right now, pretty much, is Sonic for the phone exchanges. Um, I might try to record Metal Gear later tonight, actually. So this video might be up on uh, the 12th after all, the same date I'm recording. Right now it's about quarter after 8 in the night. Uh, so you're looking at probably about quarter to 7. Eastern time, so it's about 6.45 Eastern time. You might see this video go up, but if it did, it'd be really late. That's why I'm probably going to put it up on Thursday. Also on Thursday, I'm probably going to put up the Sonic... Uh, I'm going to put up probably Metal Gear, but I'll probably do that Thursday night when I get off work. Because I get off 2.30 Eastern that day. It's one of my short shift days. So I get off early, and it's my first day of home base, so I get off early that day. I guess it's where they want me to get used to being home for the first time, working. So I can probably record and get Metal Gear off for like, you know, 4.30 Eastern or like, you know, 5 Eastern kind of thing. And if you're wondering what's, when the next video of Sonic is going to happen, what I'm going to do is, well, I need to edit and everything. Friday is going to be a double Sonic video on the phone exchanges. Like, probably 11.30 Eastern. That day, you'll see the video that should have went up today, and then at 2.30 Eastern, the usual time, uh, you'll see the video that's supposed to go up on Friday, the actual scheduled video. That's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to put up two videos just to compensate for it. The only other option is to edit it tonight if I can get some chance and put it up on Thursday, but then I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to do a double upload on Friday uh, just to make up for it. So, yeah. Saw anybody who was waiting and anticipating the Sonic video today, but uh, as far as I know, they always also have a new member. I said in Much Against Screw, I told you it was a uh, Solo Warlock, but I think Colette was just uh, added as a new member to the Phone Exchanges uh, YouTube channel. If memory serves me correct, she was telling me and a few other people in the Much Games chat, and she was also added to the Skype chat for Phone Exchanges. So she was telling me. You know, proud new member of that group. So I'm assuming while I was at work today, she was invited and joined that uh, phone exchange. So that's cool. We got, I think she's the only female of the group, which is pretty good. Well, it's not good that she's the only female because we like to have, I think that's kind of one lopsided that we only got one girl. But maybe in the future we they might add more. But that's not up to me. That's up to. Solo and all that, whereas when it comes to much games, it's up to me and Cole pretty much. Well, we also get input for the other members, but basically, in the end, it's pretty much me and Cole that make a lot of decisions. I think that opens a stained glass window back in the previous room, 
That brings us to a mock. Well, a moogle. I keep saying mock, but it's a moogle. Yeah, there it is. That wasn't lit up a few seconds ago. So now we can talk to him. But we can also go this way. But it's, and that's where we gotta go. Uh, pretty much to get to the ending. But I'm probably gonna do some backtracking, because I did miss a bloodstone back at the beginning of this video. Uh, in the hallway. The, not the very first room we saw the video, but the very first room we went into, and that was the spiral that led to the staircase. There's a bloodstone there that I missed, and I know how to get it now. But I'm gonna do that in the next video. I'm gonna go get the two bloodstones in the next room, in the next room that's right after this, and then I'll stop the video. And then in the next part, pretty much we will get the bloodstone that we missed, and then work our way to the boss. That video is probably gonna be a bit lengthy. Then again, I might do some editing, like editing, uh, depending on battles and situations, I might do some. Editing on that video, uh, but I haven't recorded that video yet. So, unlike my Sonic videos, like I said, for the phone exchanges, which I mass record. So, let's see. I guess Black Hood. Oh, yeah, should have mentioned this earlier. I'm gonna put this on Grotus, and the Black Hood, I think, gives you locomotion and death. The spell death. Yeah, and we're already learning locomotion. So now we can learn the spell. Death, the Grim Reaper. Was it Bill and Ted's excellent journey, or bogus journey, or whatever the hell it was, where they actually played ch chess with the Grim Reaper or something? There was something. Bill and Ted. Uh, was that movie Bill and Ted? I think it was. Yeah, it wasn't Wayne's World. Yeah, it was Bill and Ted's excellent journey, or bogus journey, or whatever it was. Uh, that they played like chess against death. I think it was. And like death became the fun or something. <laughs> so yeah, that was a cool movie. Uh, I think I'm gonna soon get ready to stop the video here. Um, guess we should go back to that Moogle and probably save again. Let's give me. Oh yeah, and that's the shield that we're gonna put on Cole, provided that. There we go. What's that one again? I don't float and count it. Hmm. Not yet, because I gotta still learn that ability from the Thunder Gloves. Uh, now, there's a puzzle with this and the previous side that makes a crystal staircase show up. That will lead to the boss. I'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, because, well, I have to go back and get a Bloodstone. That gives us an item. I can't remember what item it gives us right now. But it does give us an item. Um, I think pretty much what I'm going to do now is I can't remember the, uh, so the, the, the way to solve this puzzle off the top of my head. And like I don't want to do it in this video anyway. So I think I'm going to stop the video here pretty much. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Stop the video here. It's a little bit shorter video this uh, today. And pretty much in the next part, I'll meet you at the Moogle. We'll go back and get that bloodstone, the item from that bloodstone I missed, and take it from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Uh, remember to check out the phone exchanges and much game guys channels. And I shall see you in the next one.